everyone, it's Katrina. From steampunk aliens to ghost ships with mysterious remains, here are 12 terrifying objects found in the deep sea. Number 12. Missing Nuclear Weapon Commercial diver Sean Smirichinsky was searching for sea cucumbers near British Columbia in 2016 when he happened upon a flying saucer-like metal device. As it turns out, the strange item could be a lost nuclear weapon that crashed in the area in 1950, along with a downed US B-36 bomber, according to the Canadian Department of National Defense, who added that it did not believe the object contained active nuclear material. Well, that's good. In a BBC interview, Smirichinsky described the item, which he discovered off the coast of Pitt Island near the Alaskan border with British Columbia, as bigger than a king-size bed. He further elaborated that the round-bottomed device was perfectly flat on top, with a hole in the center shaped just like a bagel. Due to the remoteness of the area, the diver had to wait several days before he reached a town where he could inform locals of his findings and see if anyone knew what the object in question was. One elderly resident reportedly said, maybe you found that nuke they lost here in the 50s. This theory is reported as the most likely since it was relatively common for nuclear weapons to be lost during the Cold War, only to be discovered and explained decades later. Number 11. Bagged Human Remains In June of this year, a group of teens discovered a suitcase with horrifying contents while shooting a TikTok video on Alki Beach in Washington State. The eerie video shows one teen prying the suitcase open with a stick, hoping to find lost treasure or maybe valuables inside. Instead, the friends were met with an overwhelming putrid odor, prompting them to call the police. In a statement, the Seattle Police Department announced that several bags containing human remains were found, including one on the beach and one in the water. Detectives launched an investigation to determine the identities of the deceased, as well as whether they were dumped on the beach or washed ashore. The investigation is ongoing and is being treated as a homicide. So far, authorities have determined that the bags contain the remains of 27-year-old Austin Wenner and a 35-year-old Jessica Lewis, who died of gunshot wounds. Number 10. World War II Pilot In recent years, an underwater excavation of multiple submerged aircrafts carried out by the U.S. military around islands in the Republic of Palau uncovered the remains of at least one downed serviceman. The pilot, along with four others, was shot down over 70 years ago in the Pacific Ocean during World War II. Over the years, the wreckage became obscured from view as sand and sea life accumulated over it. After working 12-hour shifts for 45 days, the underwater recovery team revealed their findings and announced that they were working to identify the human remains. When it comes to families, I think it's about giving them answers, Army Major Jesse Romero told Newsweek. I don't think the general public could even contemplate how many people we still have missing from past conflicts, he added. To give you an idea, there are 72,941 individuals still missing from World War II alone, meaning that there are many families still looking for what happened to their loved ones. Number 9. Alien Sculpture This is one thing you definitely don't want to run into by surprise when you're diving. This alien is stuck in the water like some kind of creepy sci-fi sea creature. It appears to be a sculpture of the Xenomorph, a character featured in Ridley Scott's Alien franchise built in the steampunk fashion with gears and bolts. Reportedly located off the Russian coast, nobody knows where it came from, the apparent product of an anonymous artist since no one has come forward to claim it. There are other submerged statues nearby, sitting at the bottom of the sea, transforming over time as they endure the elements. If you're scuba diving off the coast of Russia, keep an eye out or else you might be in for quite the shock. Do you know anything else about this bizarre sculpture? Let me know in the comments below. Number 8. Ocean Eddies An eddy or a whirlpool is a large, constantly moving circular ocean current. A 2013 study showed that ocean eddies behave similarly to black holes in numerous ways. Much like black holes, ocean eddies break away from currents and form their own boundaries, and they swallow anything and everything that gets too close. Study co-author Dr. George Holler told the Huffington Post, the photon spheres around black holes have the property that anything except light is sucked into the black hole through them. Similarly, the eddy boundaries we find have the property that anything that floats on the ocean's surface, except water, is sucked into the eddy through them. 
While most eddies only last a few months, others can last a year or two. Using the same mathematics for defining black hole's photon sphere boundaries, Haller and Dr. Francisco Barambera developed a model for calculating the boundaries of ocean eddies. With this model, they found seven black hole eddies with boundaries measuring between 124 and 186.4 miles. These whirlpools sometimes help to moderate climate change effects by transporting warm, salty waters northward, promoting large-scale mixing of ocean waters. Number 7. SS Cotopaxi The SS Cotopaxi was a ship that disappeared after departing from Charleston, South Carolina over 100 years ago with a cargo of coal. It was finally identified earlier this year when the spooky thing appeared at the bottom of the sea. The Havana-bound merchant vessel reportedly vanished in the Bermuda Triangle in 1925, taking its 32 passengers along with it. But the Cotopaxi was not discovered in the Bermuda Triangle, rather it was found 35 nautical miles off the eastern coast of St. Augustine, Florida, in an excavation that was captured in the Science Channel documentary series Shipwreck Secrets. Thanks to underwater explorers and archaeologists, the ship known to locals as the Bear Wreck was properly identified through historical research and the process of elimination. The investigation showed that the victims' heartbroken families had sued over their disappearances. They convinced the ship's carpenter to testify in the case, asserting that broken hatch covers that were used to cover the coal could have caused the vessel to leak and sink during a storm. Additionally, the Cotopaxi sent distress signals that were picked up in Jacksonville, Florida, not far from where it was found. The discovery of the ship, particularly its location, challenges theories that the Cotopaxi's disappearance had anything to do with the Bermuda Triangle, but people still question what happened to it. Number 6. Flesh-Eating Bacteria While staying in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina last year, a woman reportedly contracted necrotizing fasciitis, a flesh-eating bacteria that saw her airlifted from one hospital to another in critical condition just days later. The problem started when the woman lost her balance in the wind while standing on her hotel room balcony. She fell and cut her leg, but did not seek medical attention because the injury did not seem serious. In the following days, she spent time in the ocean, a seemingly harmless activity that many of us have probably done with minor cuts and wounds. Plus, isn't salt water supposed to help mild injuries? The woman discovered blisters on her leg the day she left Myrtle Beach, and by the end of the night, it was purple and covered in blisters. Meanwhile, her blood pressure dropped. She reported to one hospital where doctors provided the grim outlook of a 10% chance of survival and the likelihood of amputation. Doctors scrambled to stop the spread of bacteria to other parts of her body and to save her leg. Bacteria had worked their way into the cut she had received just days earlier, leading to the debilitating condition. From there, the woman was flown to UNC Medical Center in Chapel Hill. Many different bacteria can cause necrotizing fasciitis, and the South Carolina Department of Health and Environmental Control asserted that the condition was not necessarily caused by water exposure. But the ocean is teeming with bacteria, and with all the right factors present, the outcome can be utterly terrifying. Number 5. Neptune Memorial Reef At first glance, the Neptune Memorial Reef looks like the entrance to an underwater city, complete with roads, gates, ruins, benches, and a statuary but it's actually the world's largest underwater city and man-made coral reef. Located 40 feet underwater and 3.25 miles off the Key Biscayne, Florida coast, the cemetery was officially opened in 2005. The reef's features are created using a combination of cremated remains and cement, and plaques are created in memory of those buried here. Divers can visit and explore the site, which is still growing and will occupy an estimated 16 acres upon its completion. While it serves as a place to memorialize the dead, the site is also a haven for life, acting as a man-made coral reef for creatures native to the Florida coast. Number 4. Sam Ratulangi PB-1600 In late August 2018, shocked fishermen discovered a rusting 58-foot-long container ship roughly 6.8 miles off the Myanmar coast in the Indian Ocean. The vessel, named Sam Ratulangi PB-1600, had run aground at a sandbar after disappearing somewhere off the Taiwan coast nearly a decade earlier in 2009. It was nicknamed the Ghost Ship. The fishermen entered the ship and found it empty of both people and goods. They notified the coastal police and Myanmar Navy, who inspected the vessel and could not initially determine where it came from. Despite the ship's aged appearance, it seemed to be in working condition, leading authorities to believe it was recently abandoned. It was eventually learned that an Indonesian tugboat and crew were towing the ship to a ship-breaking factory in Bangladesh when the cables attaching the tugboat to the vessel broke, prompting the crew to abandon it. 
How the Sam Ratulangi ended up on its way to a shipbreaking factory after its mysterious disappearance in 2009 is unknown. It was the first reported instance of an abandoned ship appearing in Myanmar's waters, and both its location and its presence in general led to more questions than answers. Number 3. Ultra Black Fish Some of the world's darkest creatures lurk near the bottom of the ocean, where they camouflage themselves against predators in the complete absence of sunlight by blending in with the blackness around them. These ultra-black fish have evolved to absorb 99.5% of the light that hits them, making them around 20 times darker than everyday black objects. A recently published study by scientists from Duke University and the Smithsonian Natural Museum of Natural History analyzed 16 ultra-black fish species spanning seven orders, including the fangtooth, the Pacific black dragon, the anglerfish, and the black swallower. These fish, who dwell in the waters of Monterey Bay and the Gulf of Mexico, appear to have adopted their darkened pigment independently of one another throughout evolutionary history. Ultra black arose more than once across the fish family tree, study author and biology PhD candidate Alexander Davis said. Some ultra black fish live as far as three miles beneath the ocean's surface, where the light produced by bioluminescent organisms is the only source of light. Down that far, there's nowhere to take cover, and the fish's extreme dark pigment helps it to hide in plain sight of other organisms, making the difference between evading predators and being eaten. Melanosomes, tiny packets of pigment in the skin cells, are shaped and arranged differently in ultra-black fish than in typical black species. In the case of ultra-black fish, melanosomes are optimally geometrically shaped for absorbing light. Their skin is some of the blackest material ever discovered on Earth, and researchers assert that the discovery may be useful for developing light-trapping materials for things like solar panels and telescopes. Finding the blackest black is actually a huge thing for scientists right now. Number 2. Ancient Human Remains In 2013, Dutch fishermen discovered 13,000-year-old human bone fragments which were dredged up by their fishing nets in the North Sea. The bones are from the end of the last ice age, according to radiocarbon dating, a time when much of what's now the North Sea was dry land, and the region between the Netherlands and the UK was as much as 260 feet above sea level. Pine forests formed on this stretch of land as the climate began to warm, drawing animals and human hunters. The skull fragment of a 22 to 45 year old woman bore evidence that she was from a hunter gatherer community that frequently ate hunted meat. Back in 2005, fishermen discovered a bison bone with zigzag carvings all over it. They have also found other objects from the now submerged North Sea forests and along the coasts, including a cranium jawbone and upper arm bone from the Mesolithic period, a 50,000-year-old stone-cut axe made by a Neanderthal, and bone spears. Number 1. North Korean Ghost Boats The remains of seven humans, including two decapitated heads, were discovered in a wrecked wooden boat that washed up on Japan's Saito Island at the end of 2019. The vessel was heavily damaged with Korean lettering on the side, indicating that it was a ghost boat from North Korea, a surprisingly common occurrence in Japan. Usually, these boats contain either nothing or human remains, with crew members likely having succumbed to exposure or starvation, especially during winter. The deceased crew members in the boat that washed ashore in 2019 were partially skeletonized, according to authorities, suggesting that they had been deceased for quite some time. A surefire explanation is lacking for why and how these boats so frequently end up on the Japanese shore. One school of thought holds that impoverished North Koreans are fishing farther and farther out at sea as they become more desperate to survive the oppressive regime. In 2017, a fishing boat carrying eight North Korean men was found in Yurhi Honjo City Marina. They explained to authorities that their boat drifted into Japanese waters after experiencing difficulty. Others have speculated, based on past incidents, that the ghost boats contain defectors or spies. Nobody seems to know for sure. Thanks for watching! Which thing did you think was the scariest or the creepiest? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. See you next time! Bye!